here on another episode of Show Me Your Build. We're out here in Woodland, Washington. About to check out something a little different than I've checked out before. Join me. Oh yeah. Check out something with some big tires, huh? This is Lance. Hold on. And uh, question I have to ask, how long have you had this? Uh, I've had this one five years or so. Uh, it's only been in the garage being worked on for about a year. Put it in Memorial Day last year. Came in the garage and got stripped and parted all the stock stuff out. And, and unlike most of uh, the people that I've gone to and checked their build out, you're sat in here for that long because you have a, another one and you and you drove that one for that period of time? Yeah, so this is a 64. My old one was a 64. Uh, just wasn't what it needed to be. Didn't have enough motor, didn't have enough axle, broke a lot. It was really cool, got lots of looks, it was real fun, but. I heard it, uh, it also won an award or two. Yeah, I say, people loved it, they didn't know what it was. So it's not a Ford, it's not a Chevy, and it's not Jeep and Toyota like everybody else has, so something different, and they just, everybody calls it a Jeep, so. <laughs> Very cool, I can't think of many wheelers that have a, like an award for anything other than like an event or something like mm -hmm. that. But, uh, well, let's get, let's get uh, started on this. On this Scout right here, yeah. you took, uh, I guess. <coughs> yeah, so out of the middle here, directly out of the middle, I took 14 inches, so it's been doved 14 inches in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then at the firewall, I took another seven inches. So it, overall, the whole length of the truck is seven inches narrower, but the front and the back are an additional seven. So it's 14 inches narrower in the front and the back. So it's got a seven inch dove mm -hmm. on top of the seven inch section. Man, that's that's uh, that's a pretty intense, pretty intense uh, puzzle piece you got going on here. Yeah. Guess you and uh, you and Jacob are pretty similar, glutton for pain, but for two completely different reasons. Yeah, you know that is crazy. Well, one thing that makes this super unique and also very fitting for this series is uh, you have a different engine choice than most people who have this vehicle would choose. Typically, you see a GMLS or some sort of small block or whatnot in a Scout, but no, not you. Not you, you're going Toyota. Yeah, so I've had Toyotas for the last eight, 10 years and just kind of something I've stuck with and wanted, knew I wanted to go V8 and LS was definitely an option, but everybody does it. So then I found out about this 1U ZFE motor and kind of did some research on it and decided that was what I had to have. Uh, just want to be different. I mean, the last Scout had a 3RZ in it, so. Might as well ah, stick with the theme. Stick with the theme, but then uh, also it's uh, it's a fairly affordable swap too. I mean, this thing cost you how much? I uh, bought a wrecked car completely. This one supposedly had nine thousand miles on a rebuild. I paid two hundred fifty bucks for the car. By the time I sold the tranny and scrapped it, I'm not into this motor or anything. It's just oh. here for looks. But now. This is a mock up. This is a mock up motor right now though, because you have another LS four hundred out there. Is that the motor going in there? Yeah, yeah. This one is just for mock up and my backup motor. My other one's got like 400,000 miles on it, so if I put it in and it blows up, it's not really going to hurt my feelings. So This one's kind of a gamble right here. I mean, it looks like it's been sitting in a field or something. Yeah, I've never heard this one actually run. So, Does it have 9,000 miles? <laughs> Question. So we move along here as to uh, how this whole drivetrain setup's going. So take us through this. All right, it's got a... Custom bell housing at order off Northwest Toys website, and they're the only ones that make the bell housing for the Tacoma R150 V6 four wheel drive tranny. So this is a three point a three point four liter Tacoma transmission. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it mates to an Atlas. I had multiple other three liter R150 mm -hmm. transmissions, but the Atlas doesn't make an adapter to mate to their transfer case. You hear that Atlas? Get on it. We need to save some money. Right. Yeah. So I had to go that route, uh, kind of last minute. So I got it. Mm -hmm. And the bell housings are different from the 3 liter to the 3.4 trannies. The input shaft lengths are different. Mm -hmm. And there's only one company I found that you can buy them for that. Um, I didn't want to go. They sell an adapter plate to run the 1UZ bell housing mm -hmm. for the stock transmission. But I didn't want to go that way. Too much crap going on. Understood. So, so moving on to this beautiful jewel here, we've got a, so this is a four speed Atlas? Yep, four speed, it's a 1034 to one. Uh, got a 3.8 well range, a 2.72, and then it's got the one to one, like your daily driver car would have. And uh, to put things into perspective, that's a pretty much free motor. Yep. That bell housing is? 
like 750 bucks for the bell housing mm -hmm. 750 bucks transmissions a couple hundred bucks yep and then this right here is anywhere between 3500 four grand with the adapter and the shifters damn yeah that's a lot of that's a lot of dough but that's a pretty nice piece don't get me wrong it looks like you're gonna run into you're gonna end up building a two-piece drive shaft for this yeah see i didn't want to have any clearance issues with you know notching a cross member and i want a full belly skid to make oh, it that's perfectly cool. flat so. so that's that's quick quick yeah there's assembled? actually a bolt on the back side too that runs in here tapped in oh. so you can pull it so the whole cross member comes out so you can drop everything freely through wow that, that's super and it neat. still keeps the strength so right on man this is a this is and another thing, you also cut the height of this down too, yeah. right? Because you were saying something about you took, what is it, 10 inches or so something? So there was there? where this pinch is here, I mm -hmm. took two and a quarter off one and two off the other just to make the angles right to keep the firewall at length. Because mm -hmm. there was a firewall in this about a month ago and a floor pan. Uh, when I went to put the motor. <laughs> Apparently they got frustrating. <laughs> Start yeah. over. Motor's too big, wanted it set back where I wanted it, so you had to go. Gotcha. Um, so I guess we'll pop over here. We'll check out these. Uh, check out this rear axle. What's uh, what was your what was your choice on this gnarly looking deal? Look it's a uh, 14 bolt out of like an 86 Chev one ton truck. Mm. Uh, the only thing that's different about it, it's got a full Artec truss kit, backbone truss, top truss. Uh, it's run 513s with a spool. It's got a quarter inch diff plate covering the back with a disc brake kit. Yeah, it's a nice looking kit, right there. Yeah, and then. Uh, Right now it's going to run stock shafts, but future goals are 40 spine if I don't end up doing a rear steer setup. Hmm. But. That would be neat, rear steer. Mm -hmm. But while we're sitting here, another neat thing is he retained the Scout chassis, but went in and, and fabricated plates across the entire deal. I mean, that's pretty neat. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. But uh, why did you do that actually it's three sixteenths all the way down uh mm -hmm. the scout frames they're boxed all the way through and through but they're not very strong um on my last scout when i go out because this one's going to retain doors as well but you would drop on a rock and the doors would open up oh and uh just not very thick so as you know as hard as i'm going to drive this truck i wanted to make sure that i was more safe than sorry and mm -hmm. i don't care about the extra weight just safety was my number one goal and uh so anywhere a tube mounts or a hanger mounts and these are real prone to cracking so gotcha just all the way through i mean and look at this i mean this is a lot of tube work too i mean that whole setup that goes all the way around all the way back and then this whole fuel cell and then that whole fuel cell area is just tubes 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 i mean i mean we're talking just going i mean this super neat man oh and that's also a quick I'm gonna call it quick. I'm gonna call it quick change just for right now. Yeah, all these clamp. quick change tubes, yeah. man. That is rad. Better that way. You know, um, crazy, crazy. But let's uh, let's go over this front axle too. I'm gonna pop around over here so we can kind of. Yeah, it's the same setup. It's a '86 like ish Dana 60 out of a Chevy truck, one ton. Uh, same thing, 513 spool. Kind of have RCVs in it. Uh, double shear high steer setup with a full hydraulic ram steering. Uh, we're going with the bigger PSE ram just to make the feel a little better because this thing is going to get driven at like car shows and stuff. And I want a little better wait. feel. Wait, 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 wait. Is this thing going to be street legal? I don't have a license plate on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, coming to a town near you. Mm -hmm. Wow, and then um, another question I would have uh, is going to be you're building this for what tire size? Uh, it's going to be running the 43 inch TSL SX's uh, on a 16.5 with the H1 Hummer bead box. They're recentered with a PVC insert. And now, are you, are you running that tire size and whatnot to kind of save some money on the wheels? Uh, or not is that just a, is there a different setup with that? No, I just I, I had problems with my old bead box leaking on the inner bead all the time. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just wanting a true double bead block. And uh, just what I had, I got the wheels for free, and then I had to buy the inserts and the centers and the rock rings. So, mm -hmm. I mean, all in all, I'm not ahead of anything. It's gotcha. It's just, just, just a matter of a system that's tried and true that you want to use. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, problems are you going to run into with this engine in this chassis right now? Because I think you were saying something about needing to relocate the uh, oil filter and something about this oil pan. Yeah, so it's got a, the LS400 has a front sump oil pan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get the SC400 pan. It's a, like a mid sump, just so for rock crawl things. I'm not going to. Starve it doing hills. Gotcha. 
gotcha. Okay. And then, oh, obviously that thing's just yeah. sticking out so there. On the, on the three link, their upper bracket's going to run right here, and this is in the way. So we're going to do a remote oil filter setup on it. Um, mm. I've got to find the plate, though, so I can run the hoses off. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if there's any possibility that maybe oil filter services or maybe excessive has something excessive motorsports might have. They have, seem to have everything for everything around here, mm -hmm. you know. And then that oil pan, so that's gonna set it back there, cause your whole, your whole hydraulic ram is gonna be. Ah, uh, ram actually mounts right here. Oh, it, it lays up. inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Protected. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now, do understand that I'm an idiot when it comes to these things, so I'm learning. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, man, that is elaborate. That is that is a lot of work. And you did all this tube work here inside of here. Yeah, or in the driveway, however I have room. Man, look at this. I mean, yeah, just a little setup, whatnot, and I guess. Oh, there it is. Uh, there's what's left of the uh, the first scout. It could be yours too. I think it's for sale on Craigslist. Maybe I'm wrong. What was was for sale? Oh, okay, whatever. It's all good. But. Uh, well, man, it's been real. Thank you for having yeah. us. Um, you got any builds in the local area you want me to come check out? Pop it in the uh, Facebook page, um, the messages, whatever. Just click it, type some stuff in. It's like Northfork Network at YouTube.com or whatnot. Until next time, catch y'all later. Deuces.